Hello everybody and welcome to this tips and tricks video. My name is Dan Lopez and I am the technical manager for Tecla Power Fab here at Trainbull. Uh, in this short clip, I want to talk to you about a simple but great addition to the functions of the document index. Now, just in case you are not familiar with what the document index is about, let me give you a brief explanation about it first. Uh, the document index, the way I see it, it's a vehicle to access documents from your server uh, through Tecla Power Fab and they are break apart or separated or organized by categories and subcategories, which will be the equivalent to, you know, folders and subfolders in the system. Uh, document index are available in combining module, estimating, uh, project management jobs, production control jobs, uh, in purchasing both in requisitions and purchase orders, and same in order entry both for quotes and orders. So to give you an example in particular, uh, let me go here to the estimate and when the job selected, I can click document index and this actually has open all these different, you know, set of documents that I have attached to this job. Now, this is everything I have in the job, but as you can see, I have all these categories and subcategories on my navigation tree. So I can simply go and say, yeah, let me see the alternates uh, or the drawings for this estimate or the invites. Or, or bid invitations, the quotes that maybe I got from a few vendors, uh, any specification documentation as well, uh, emails that you may got received related to this, you can attach them uh, either you know as a, as a .msg file or, or you simply from, from Outlook, uh, my final report and IFC files, right? In this case, this is the folder structures that I have and that can be customized by users, okay? But that has been always the case. You can always go and say, uh, if I wanna add a main category, I can just from the top click add and it will be creating a new, uh, complete new whole category. Or if I need to add a subcategory, for example, to my emails, I can just select that and click add and then, then that will be on their email correspondence. So again, you can define that. Uh, but and just have in mind that any change that I do, for example, here, it will be affecting only this job, right? That's the general rule for any of the modules. If I make a change on these categories for this job, be it 2021-027, it will be only affecting this. If you want that to be the general uh, categories and subcategories for your document index, you will have to do that for maintenance, document index, and then the respective module that you wanna affect, right? In that same scenario, if I go to estimating, I will be making the change in here, and then it will be available for every new job that I create from this moment and so on. So, so have that in mind. Now, before I go to, to the new function that was added in there, some one more comment that I wanna make is, there is also a document index that has global categories. That is actually the place where we store the heat documents and the attachments for quality inspection. So that's uh, a place for us in Tecla Power Fab to have access to those documents and organize them in the system as well. Uh, now, the comment that I wanna do in here is that in, in the recent service package that we release, we put an option so you cannot just only have those documents organized through Tecla Power Fab, right? Before they were being stored on the, document, on the documents uh, default directories, so if you are not familiar with that, again, file default directories, and this will be pointing to the documents folder on your server, right? So this is where all the files that you are putting on document index for any job were being saved on, and then just organized through Tecla Power Fab. Uh, to make it easier for people that wanna access those documents, but maybe they don't have a license available for Tecla Power Fab or not in that moment, uh, you can now create that same or very similar folder structure in your server as well. So let me let me talk a little bit about that functionality. And it is basically what you see here at the bottom, right? As you, as you see here, I have right now only the year and the job number, in this case for estimating. So any new job in, the, in an estimate that I create, it will be saved as the year and the job number and then all the folder structure as well in, in my server. It won't be not just documents, on a general folder. Uh, but again, any new change that you do in this, have in mind it's for the new jobs that you create after that. So, so for example, here, if I go and say, yeah, I wanna do the year, uh, and then also, you know what, the estimator, for example, I can go and say, uh, oops, sorry about that. And it's this one, estimator. 
and then this right there there we go and then the job number so if i save this change and now go and just simply create a new estimate just to kind of make the example i'll just create a new one whatever number comes in uh, let's just go to something more recent like 2022 and i'll just go to the next one available on the list right so the 34 uh, the job name i'll go ahead and say this is uh, tecla doc index and then just this is just a way for me to organize and if you remember on that list i can use some of these fields to organize my jobs right so going back again to that screen if i go and say document index estimating as you see the options are the year which it's based on the date and then the group one and group two which are you know user defined items i have this again using the year and the and the type of job but you can use those as a company to break apart your jobs in any way that you want you know as an example it could be by contractor and then the type of job as i do or you know any any separation that will make sense for you to organize your jobs in a better way uh, estimator right is what i have right here on the top uh, and then the shop setup in case you have different shop environments and, and labor standard tables so uh, again using what i select in here uh, i'll go ahead and say save this job just to give you a quick example and then if i go here to my folder and say yep so for right now it's 2022 dan lopez and then there is the new job that i just created for our estimate right and if i open that then i have all the different subfolders categories inside of those so it's just again any new documents that i attach through tecla power fab will be involved in here so have that in mind as well uh, you can use that for any any module in reality not just estimating right this was just to to set the example and this is an extra comment again for those of you who weren't familiar with what the documents function already brings to the table once you set a document index for estimating for project management and then from production control when you open a job that you know it's on the three modules for example if the estimate was awarded to your company uh, when i go to project management and, and let's say i'll go here and open this job document index it will ask me if i want to also you know bring to the to the table the document index for production control and also from estimating if i have an estimate link to this job so this just brings all together for you to see in here or you can access those documents through your server now through the folder structure if you prefer to do it in that way uh, hopefully this was clear uh, um, you know if you have any questions please feel free to contact your help desk area and as always thank you for watching